Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this amazing video. I am Aditya. In the last video, we saw about how to create a decision tree algorithm and connect it with our Nuxt app. So we use Fast API for that. So what I thought was it would be great to just compare other machine learning algorithms. So mostly the classification algorithms. So I thought maybe we can compare decision tree, random forest, KNN, and, uh, and neural network, and also I mean, maybe knife base classifier. So I won't be dwelling in the detail of each algorithm. So I'll assume that you have the knowledge of them. Uh, I might tell you in brief what each algorithm is. So what we are going to do, we will just use this to, to just get to know like which algorithm is best in this scenario or which algorithm should we use for our scenario. Uh, also, there are various amazing ways to get the best algorithm. So I came across another one, which was k-fold cross-validation. So that's another way. Uh, but here I will be using uh, trend test split method. So I'll be splitting the data into 80% training, 20% test, and I'll be using train and test method to just find the which, like just predict the accuracy of each of the algorithms. So without any further ado, let's begin. So we have our CSV file as you have seen in the last video. So if you haven't seen the video, make sure you find the link in the description below. I, have, I will put it over there. So in that we are using this input parameters, except the year to predict in which country the car should be made. So so far, so it's all working great with decision tree algorithm. And let's now uh, rewrite this function. So what we will do is we'll create another new file so we don't disturb this file. So we'll say al classification algo dot py. It's a long name. So let's copy and paste it over here. Or rather, I could do a class-based approach, but it's okay. I could create an algorithm class and then call those class individually over here. That's fine as well. But let's let's do with only simple thing. Let's let's keep it simple. So what we need here now is we don't need this function, of course. So let's uh, do like this. So we need to always like just do it over here we don't need this lines because we are not doing anything over here uh we will just remove this for now so we don't need this and we have the cast or csv that's fine and we will need this line as well uh targets brand numerical keep this and yeah this target association is no more required so let me tell you in uh, quickly what we are doing here so we are importing pandas we are importing the file using pandas so it's a csv file then we are encoding the label because system understands only the numeric language numeric uh, values so this us europe and japan as there are three classes they will get a numeric values with this label encoder we are dropping the column of year and brand then we are refining our input we are then setting our targets and then just dividing the data into training and testing for each input train input test output train output test and then we are just using our uh, models we are first initiating the instance of the model then training it over here and then just predicting in and that result printing the prediction so that's pretty simple so the tree we have decision tree classifier so let's now let's change this to decision tree decision tree model and let's do over here as well decision tree model fit and here instead of input and output i'm going to do x train so i'll be sorry not train test so x train and y train okay and here i'll be predicting the result using our test data let's say x test and here i will say for y predict i'll say y decision tree okay now let's print the score of this so i'll say pin and then i could so oh, sorry like this and then all i need to do is accuracy of decision tree algorithm is let me spell it over here so it is and what will be the accuracy it will be nothing but so we could use the metrics from sklearn it's an amazing uh, library so scikit it's an amazing library scikit-learn in python to use all the possible machine learning algorithms we could so and it's make it pretty simple like 
you can the testing the scoring the usage the training it makes it pretty pretty simple so let's use that so we will use the metrics from this sklearn and we'll say metrics sorry it should be like this there's a metrics dot accuracy score and what we want to score against so we want to score against our y test and our actual prediction which is y decision prediction decision tree this one this is our actual prediction this is our test prediction so now we will see what do we get out of this so if i run this we are getting the accuracy of 0.77 so let's do it into like let's multiply this into 100 so we get out of 100 so it will get it in percentage simply so we are getting 79 percent of accuracy now let's do the same now let's try it for random forest so from sklearn we will import ensemble and here so let's club this together so we need to know so this is for decision tree now let's do it for random forest equal to uh, this will be ensemble dot random forest classifier we are just, uh, dealing with the classification algorithms so we will keep it simple and default state for all so random forest uh, dot fit and then x train and y train then we will have y random forest equal to random forest dot predict and that would be x test and then we'll just copy this line and print it over here and here instead of accuracy score of y decision tree we will say y random forest and here instead of random decision tree algorithm we will say random forest algorithm okay so let's see what we get let's run this quickly and it will take a bit of a time and you'll see like the random forest has way higher accuracy than decision tree algorithm of course once you have more amount of data these values will differ and in train and split these values definitely differ so if i do it again you'll see the values will differ so it depends upon like because this uh, splitting is random so it's kind of like uh, the accuracy will differ here and there but the main point would be here is random forest is doing way better than decision tree now let's see another algorithm and let's do it quickly so we'll do neural network then we will need knife base and let's try knn as well so nearest near neighbors so we are including from sklearn we are using neural network we are taking knife base and we are taking neighbors this neighbors will be for k nearest neighbors knn algorithm so let's go over here and let's copy this lines and we will just need to modify them so one set for uh, nearest neighbor one set for knife base and one set for neural network so we have random forest here so we will change this to neural network uh out this because it will be problematic so here we'll say neural network and here we want so let's remove this we want MLP classifier. So once we have this, we just need to copy this over here, here. Actually, this should be over here. Let's do Y N N for neural network, and then predict with the neural network. After that, let's try for knife base. So knife base, and here we will use this uh, knife base. So it's a knife base. And we will be using the Gaussian knife base classifier. So Gaussian knife base classifier. And then we will just paste it over here, here, and let's do this. NB. Last we need it for nearest neighbors. So let's do KNN, K nearest neighbor. And here we will we'll need to use neighbors dot K nearest classifiers. I can give the value of nearest neighbor so i'll put it by default five so like i guess it's by default five i guess but let's do not give any value and let's see how knn algorithm gives different accuracy based on the n we choose so let's go over here do it here and let's do y knn 
so we have this all now let's print it over here so this two so this would be for our neural network and this would be here y n n this will be for our knife base knife base this would be y and b and here we will be having our result of kn this would be y kn now what do you think which algorithm would have the highest accuracy so let's see so let's run this and if you see decision tree has 77 percent almost random forest has 90 percent Neural network has 62%, knife base has 69%, almost 70%, I would say, and KNN has 64%. So, if you see, random forest is doing way better over here. So, as it's uh, like it won't be fair if I don't say what exactly random forest algorithm is. So, you can consider it's nothing but the collection of lots of decision trees and when it's come to classification it uses or it makes the prediction based on those classes which gets the maximum prediction from each decision tree so suppose there are five decision trees in any random forest and each then there are two classes let's say yes or no if three are saying yes two are saying no then it gives yes as a higher word it's in very very simple words in mathematically speaking it's a bit complicated but in simple words it just chooses the best possible like like the one which gets which one class which gets the highest score it comes as a uh, winner it's as good as saying when you're going somewhere for a travel you ask several several of your friends like where to go and the place which gets most of the votes from your friends you choose that for your travel destination it's same with random forest so it's done the same thing uh so I guess that's pretty much it for this video so i'm not sure if i have missed anything so uh metrics and symbol okay we haven't tried uh the svm algorithms let's try that as well so let's do uh i guess it's svm from sklearn so before we conclude our video let's try for svm as well so here i'll just copy this i'll say svm i'll go uh, naming convention is going here and there with us <laughs> so let's sorry i did something wrong no so here now let's do so from svm we need to get dot svc so we will need to also change the heat over here so let's say y svm sorry svm actually not smv svm and let's do the prediction for that as well of the accuracy score actually so let's go over here and svm then we have the accuracy of y svm and now let's see how much accuracy this algorithm gives to us so svm here is giving around 62 percent so it's but obvious like uh most mostly like when it comes to classification it's generally random forest is mostly used and uh yes i was i wasn't surprised with the svm result because i knew that it will give you it will give the less accuracy but uh, i'm a bit surprised like neural network is giving more lesser accuracy than svm let's try again one more time so if i run again and neural network is 58 while svm is 62 yeah uh, this is a bit surprising for me so let me know in the comment section why do you think that this is like which, which one was surprising for you also let's try with the knn let's try to change the nearest neighbors so let's say n uh, i guess it's neighbors and then let's try from two and let's see can and value for two neighbors so 71 percent let's run again 71 percent let's change the neighbors to four and let's see what we get so okay so as we are going 
like as we are increasing the value of k the accuracy is going down and down so let's see three so 71 okay so i guess the best value for here is two to three so in that range and yeah i guess that's pretty much it for this video hope you enjoyed this video if you feel that this video is worth sharing with your network please do share with your network and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please make sure that you subscribe to my channel also if you haven't liked this video yet uh, please hit the like button and do check out the link in the description for the decision tree algorithm that we did it in fast api so you will come to know what exactly each step is doing here before we write this like training and testing things so that's all from me till the next video goodbye